and welcome to Consultants Corner. I'm Rebecca Britzi. This is my corner. I am a consultant. We are in week two of a three-week series on change management in business, and I'm here to tell you today that businesses do not, in fact, change. But wait, aren't we doing a series on change management and talking about change in business? We are indeed, and that's why it is important to realize that businesses, they're not alive. They, by nature, cannot change. People can change, and the changes that people make are what change the business. It is the actions of people that then create the change in the business. And you can only really manage change in your business when you properly understand that it is not the business that is changing, it is the people that have to change, which is a big part of why change management can be so difficult. More after a brief message from our sponsor. Last week's worksheet was about starting at the end, looking at the transformation in the business. You then use that to work backwards to understand what has to change in the day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week of the business to create that transformation. And that's where we are today. What actually brings about the change? And it is the people doing the things. This week's worksheet is an essential part to making change actually happen at all and, of course, be successful. To cause the change, you have to look at habits. You have to change habits. Habits do not change easily because they are habits. They're things that we do naturally, that we are used to doing, and that we will by default continue to do. To create the change in your business, you have to talk to your employees about their habits and which of their habits have to change. Why do New Year's resolutions fail so often? Because they are built on a goal without addressing the habits. A New Year's resolution of learn a language. Then it gets to March and you only know three words in the new language and so you give up. As opposed to research classes, find a conversation partner, find online resources, buy children's books in that language, and so on. You get the point. The goal of the change doesn't change you. Understanding which habits have to change and then making the effort over time to create those new habits, that's what changes you. And it does not happen on day one because habits have taken time to form. So to form new ones, you'll also need that time. You'll need to get used to doing something new. Understand this difference so that you understand what you are asking of your employees when you need them to change something. This week's worksheet is that conversation that you will have with your employees, and there is a space for them to add their commentary as well. You will talk to them about what the change is, specifically what's in it for them. Why is this going to improve their work, their life, their outcomes? You also need to be clear about the expectations. Remember, you don't want to be conceptual in your communication with employees. You want to be specific. So be specific about the expectations of this change and then let them tell you how they will change, what habits they will have to change and how they will go about creating those new habits and then give them the time to do that. Check in on them, help them stay on track to those new habits, recognize that it probably won't happen in one day. Make the change easy, make it fun as much as possible, make it very visible. Most importantly, allow your employees to take ownership of their own change. Mm -hmm.